guys, today I'm doing something new and I'm doing a book review. And I'm going to start doing book reviews, you know, every once in a while, not too, too often because I don't have that much time to read, but I am going to do a book review maybe once or twice a month, hopefully, that's, that's the plan. Maybe more, depending on how much I get to read, but who knows. But today's my first one and my book I am doing is That Extra Half, Half an Inch by Victoria Beckham. And I absolutely love this book. Like, the first time I read it, I fell in love. Like, it just, she explains everything so well on, like, different ways for tops and shorts and pants, dresses. I mean, you name it, she's got it in here, giving you tips and style tips and different ideas on what you can do with your clothes. And it's, re like, this is a must read if you love fashion and beauty. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And, I mean, look how pretty she is, like. Look at her on the cover. She looks gorgeous. And I love the stripedness going on here. So, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. And, like, she goes by section and she tells you, like, what kind of shorts are for, what like, what type of shorts. Like, if they're really short, when you should wear them, when not to wear them. And, like, long shorts, pants, what type of sh pants flatter you a little better. Different types of dresses. And she also... Let me see if I can find it. She has like a whole little section where like on, after each like chapter or section about clothes, she'll give you a little space to maybe make your own comments or I would like put a picture of yourself wearing something cute. That would be me. Oh, here you go. Oh, never mind. It's going to take me forever. I should have bookmarked this before I started taping. That would have made a little bit more sense. Oh, here we go, see? She has a notes section, which I think is great. See, then you can be like, oh, I like this part of the book, or maybe, oh, I should try this and this. So, you know, give yourself tips, which I think is great. I mean, what's more handy than having, like, not only tips, but maybe your ideas included? I mean, that's just brilliant. And plus, I mean, you get really cute clothes. Like, look at her in her wedding dress, and just, oh, I love this picture. I think she looks gorgeous. Let's see if you can see that. She looks so pretty. And I, I absolutely love it. And I love that the tips she gives. And just all the lovely pictures. Maybe you can even get like inspiration from her pictures. Like I remember I saw a skirt of hers in the book. And I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. So I just was kind of out shopping. And I saw a skirt that looked like it. Went, That'd be so cute. I That is just too cute. I, and I bought it. And I was like, really cute too. It was like, where did I get it from? It was Target. Really, for like... 10 bucks or 15 bucks, I don't know. It was like really cheap. So yeah, I definitely say read this book if you like fashion and beauty. She gives you all sorts of tips. Like even, I'm not a mom, but like those who are moms, she gives you ideas on different things. And if you're maybe an expectant mom, she gives you different clothes ideas. So instead of like buying new clothes, she gives you ideas maybe how to fix your clothes to fit your growing body and different things like that. Oh, she does summer, winter, purses. Shoes, makeup, how to pack stuff in your bag and get as much as you can in your purse and stuff because I seriously have that issue. So, yeah, she's real. Oh, there's like a little directory on the back. Probably should have been more prepared, but oh well. Oh, yeah, she gives you like all the places, all the stuff that, she, that was mentioned in the book, like different clothes and the page number and stuff. Is it the page number? I don't know. But she gives you like different websites and stuff where you can get the stuff and it's really, oh yeah, see, look, where to buy. It's really great. Like, you, oh, look, see, cute picture and her gorgeous shoes. I hope, I don't know if you can see that. Excuse my nails, they're like really gross, so hopefully nobody can see them because I haven't had time to fix them. They're really disgusting. But anyway. And you get makeup ideas and just cute pictures of her and different outfits which can maybe inspire you and just even if you just maybe you don't want to change your style or take any of her style. I think it's just a fun read. I mean, well, who doesn't want to read about her? I love her. She's like, oh, totally. She's amazing. I'm a huge fan. I love, love, love her and I love her style. I think she's just gorgeous. And she just, I love her tips, like here, she has a style of no-no. Avoid tights that bag around the knees. They look hideous in the worst Nora Beatty kind of way. Ooh. 
So see, just different cute little things that are in it and all the lovely pictures that are in there. I mean, just for the pictures, I would buy it. Like, I'm totally serious. Or maybe, you know, if you don't want to buy it, go to a library or something. Check it out. Look it at Look, look it at it. Excuse me. Or even, you know, go to Barnes & Noble or somewhere and just sit there for a few minutes just looking at all of her gorgeous clothes and different hairstyles that she has. Like, she has all of her different hairstyles. Let me see. I think she does hair somewhere. <sighs> you know. See? Hair and makeup. Which is my favorite section. I mean, besides the clothes. I love hair and makeup. And I've ha I actually had her haircut at one time. You know, when she had that bob where it was short in the back along the front. I'll probably put a picture of that on my blog. Right next to her picture. I mean, hers will look better because her hair is like all awesome and stuff. Mine's kind of frizzy and poofy and just its own thing. So probably not going to look as good as hers. But either way, I mean, I just, I love her books. Her books. Listen to me. Someone needs sleep. You can tell. Oh, she talks about jewelry, hats, sunglasses, handbags, shoes. Oh, because I love shoes so much. So, yes. This is... I, oh, see, let's see. This is a skirt that I was inspired by right there. But mine, you know, doesn't look like that skirt. My skirt's a bit more, you know, pink and a lot of colorful floral, but in that same style. And she gets, she just gives you different rules and very simple rules. I mean, she's never cruel or anything. She just gives you just simple guidelines to help you to not make you look worse, but to make you look better. And I think my favorite part of this whole book Let's see. I loved what she said to her fans. She said to my fans, you will never know how much you mean to me. I am so grateful for your loyalty and support. Thank you. I don't know, that, that just simple, that simple, like, little quote to her little fans. I mean, that's just, it. I don't know. I loved it. If you're a fan, I mean, you'll love it. I mean, if you're if you're not a fan, even if you're not a fan, maybe you're like, oh, Victoria Beckham, I mean, Why? And like all the uh, FYI, those rude comments are just so mean because she's gorgeous and I don't care if she doesn't smile in all of her photos. I love her. So I say pick up the book. Even if you don't like her, maybe just look at her clothes. I mean, check it out. I definitely say check it out. And I know I'm not really reviewing the book. I, be, I guess technically I am. But I am just keep saying how wonderful it is because I really love her tips and I don't, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. I mean, she just gives you great tips and I mean... Oh, I, I love it. I just keep, I'm just going to keep saying I love it. That's it. I love it. Look at it. Check it out. It's great. So, I don't know. I think that's about it. This wasn't a really great book review. This was just me rambling about how wonderful her book is. But it's okay. I love it. And I love the pictures. And they really are an inspiration. And, oh, she helps you on gifts. That's what I thought was great. Like, gifts for a guy. Maybe gifts for someone that's that you don't know very well, or maybe gifts for somebody that just had a baby, you know, just different types of gifts, and she really has just, like, hit every single category to help you out in anything. Oh, guys' clothes, I mean, she's really, she really covered all the bases when it came to this book. Let's see if I can find anything else before I move on, because I'm about to finish. Oh, she gave me dresses, different Oh, yeah, like, what type of, like I said earlier, what type of pants are for what? She does that for dresses, too, like, what dresses are for what, you know, stuff like that. And it's really, a really a good read. And plus, you get to look at all of her gorgeous makeup, and you can replicate her makeup, which I might do. That's probably a good idea. Maybe do a video on it. I don't know, but see, look, there's pants. Anyways, now I'm just playing with my book, so I'm going to put it down and go on. The next book review I'm probably going to do is the Undead series by Mary Janice Davidson and that should be because I've read like almost all the books I can probably do it like tomorrow who knows maybe I don't know but it'll be soon because I've already read those books except for the latest one and then the one that comes out in August or September I, don't know. I haven't read those because they'll the latest one that's already out because I, w I refused to read it until it was a paperback because I'm a snob when it comes to those books I wanted to read it in paperback, and I had to have it, like, own it. So I had to wait till it's a paperback, and for me to own it before I would read it. So I haven't even had a chance to read it, because I'm actually being a nerd and rereading all the Harry Potter books, because I'm, like, in love with Harry Potter. Like, 
crazy in love. Like, I love those books, like, a lot. And I'm kind of sad that the series is ending, and I'm kind of rambling now, so I'm going to stop. Anyways, sorry I keep playing with my lipstick. I was going to show this to everybody. It's just a lipstick by Revlon, and it's called Luminous Pink, and it's a pearl lipstick in number 631. And the color is so pretty. It's just a pink. It's nothing special. It's like kind of a natural pink with a shimmer. And I love it because I can put it like I'm wearing it right now and you probably can't see very well. My lips are all gross. <laughs> it's really, my lips are really gross right now. But it's really pretty. It just makes your lips shimmery, which I like. If I just want a sheer color that's shimmery, this is my new favorite. It's, I barely got it. I'm like already like <sighs> rubbed a lot of it on. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to quit rambling and let everybody go. But I'll talk to everybody later and be looking forward to another video. Oh, I'm, I'm cutting my hair. Random, but I know. My hair, let's see if you can see it. My hair is really long. I don't know if you can see the bottom. But my hair is really long. And I'm cutting it to here in like two weeks. So I'm going to, before I cut it, I'm going to show everybody how to curl your hair with a curling iron. Well, with a curling iron. With a straightener, not a curling iron. And then I'm going to do big waves with a curling iron, hopefully, if I have time. So let's hope. Anyways, okay, that really is it, and if you liked this video, subscribe, and go check out my blog. I'll talk to you later. Bye!